Okay, so the reason why this cable is charging slowly, because it used to be only charging, look at it how it's moving. It's actually a bit damaged inside. Here it's okay. This side is okay. This is a IKEA cable. Is this a this is the model, I think. There is the old version of the IKEA cable. This, they stopped selling them, probably that's why. Probably many of them, probably many of these cables were getting damaged, so they had to stop selling them. So let's open it up. I think it's from here. I'll try to open it without damaging it too much to see the contents what's inside there using a cloth spin as a support to hold it in place okay Looks like it's going well all the way to the end. Actually, I'm curious to see what's inside of this thing. Let's see what's in there. If you try this, you try it at your own risk. And be careful with your fingers if you use a knife. Always cut away from yourself, but better not use it at all if you can. Okay, I think we got it. Okay. Okay, let's see what's inside this cable. Nice, okay, so I can get to the actual portion of the cable that has the parts in it. So they also used some kind of a hot glue. Yeah. So actually I don't see anything wrong with this. It looks fine here. Interesting. Uh, but here, this one is moving. So the board is broken. And maybe also some of the pins there. Okay. Try to open this part also. And this is harder. But I can go through it, okay. And the other side. bit of damage to the cable edge there 
nothing major but okay we can get in but we can't really get in because this is really hard plastic here so yeah Yeah, I think we're getting somewhere. Yeah, it was just moving like this because it was moving on the wires. So the probably the the cables are damaged. And if they were not damaged before, they are now while I'm doing this. Mm. So there is, I don't know, I think here this part is broken, but I think I broke it now myself. I mean, I could try to really just glue the connections back again and it should work. But this part here is broken, so that's not going to work. That's the cable, okay. Only one thing left to do with that cable. I will cut it, but not too short. I want to leave a little bit of space here. And also from the edge. Cutting a bit of the insulation. These are the USB cables here. You have red is positive 5 volts, black is negative 5 volts, the power cables. And these two are the data cables. And I have to test to make sure that the red and the green and white are the used the correct ones here because usually you have the next to the plus five volts you will have the minus data so you have plus five volts minus five volts and then data plus data minus so next to plus plus five volts you will have minus data and next to plus minus next to minus five volts you will have plus data like this but I have to make sure that they are the, indeed like this. 
so I can easily test that. I will check that and come back. Just go around with the pocket knife, with the pliers. There are tools for this, but this goes around the cable, like that. And then grab it with one side and the other side the finger and pull out. have to be more gentle with these ones, they're thinner. Actually it's easy, just grab it and pull it and turn around also. Okay, so we have, so we have the cables exposed now. I'll give them a quick twist. Quick twist. And I want to see, based on this, where everything is. Okay, so black black should be the last one from the left here because it starts with plus plus five volts minus digital mi plus digital minus five volts. So we should see the black there. I connect the black on one side and then trying to see if it makes contact on the other side. It doesn't make contact with the case, but pin one, so this is the last one from there. And then the next one should be, I think plus should be the white one, maybe. I did this before on another cable, but I can't remember now. Interesting. Doesn't seem to work on any of them. Ah, so this is the minus. So white, white is minus, and green should be the second one from the left. Then, oh, bit of nightmare here. So I'll test everything. Okay, so color, colored ones are positive and red should be the first one. Okay. Okay, so I got it. I think I could try to reuse this one, but because I broke this part here, I don't think it's gonna work. But I have other connectors very similar to this. They just have a few resistors to set the mode here. To set the charging mode or communication mode. Uh, but this board is moving. Look at it. It was really broken, it's moving.
yeah, there's no way this was okay. It's moving inside, so another tire, another board now. <laughs>